everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we're taking a look at the Biplane Bomber from the Imaginex Treasure Hunters collection. I think this set looks really neat. I love the little monkey that he comes with. I'm really excited to open him up. You also get this figure a lot of people are calling Amelia Earhart just because it's a female pilot. And I believe we got a repaint of this in one of the blind bag series. I want to say eight maybe something like that. Maybe nine. I can't remember off the top of my head. But I believe this is the first place this figure showed up. So you get this really neat biplane here. Standard open packaging for Imaginex. Spin around to the back, you can see the Treasure Hunters group shot. I do also have the giant place that I have to get to that at some point as well. But you can see it says, What kind of high-flying adventure is this Treasure Hunter up to? Squeeze trigger to spin propellers. Press button to fire missiles. Captured mummies store in the wings. That's a little weird, but we'll take a look. So I believe I've reviewed all of the rest of these. It's a really fun line. I really did like the Treasure Hunter one. You get kind of that, you know, the Egyptian mummy feel and the the kind of 1920s um, explorer type movies like an Indiana Jones or, you know, the actual mummy movies they made. So I always think that's really cool. It's a nice time period and it's really fun. Lends itself well to these kind of toys. So we'll go ahead and we'll get this guy out of the packaging here and we'll take a closer look. So here's a look at everything you get. First of all, we're going to take a look at the monkey because he is my favorite. <laughs> I do not know why this set comes with a monkey, but it is awesome. I love his little hat. He has no articulation though, so that's a bit of a bummer. But he is pretty awesome. Just a crazy little monkey with a hat. Next up we have the Amelia Earhart figure. It's not really her, but that's what everyone calls her. So we have <laughs> wrist articulation. Normal shoulder articulation there. Bend at the waist. I think the head is supposed to move, but mine feels like it's not moving at all, so I don't want to break it. So I will not be twisting it around. But it's a cool looking figure. Then you get four missiles. They're all exactly the same. I think they have like little eyes, if I can get close enough to show you that. You can see the mouth on the bottom there and then the eyes so they look like little sharks which is pretty cool <laughs> I like that a lot so these go into here on both sides and then the extras can store up here so they just kind of clip in and then there you go you got your four missiles now you press this button on the side to fire the missiles Hmm, I'm not sure why this one doesn't fire. There it goes. Maybe I just didn't put it in right. Try that again. Take two. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. It seems to not want to fire it. But that's if I put in just one, it fires it no problem. That's weird. But if I put in two, it seems to have difficulty. No, that time it's fine. So I don't know. Apparently you just need to warm it up a little bit. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Then the trigger on the bottom here. Spins the propellers. I also kind of like, I don't know why, but I don't know if this was intentional or not, but the grill here kind of looks like teeth. And this kind of looks like a nose. And then this kind of looks like eyebrows to me. <laughs> so it kind of looks like it has a face. Again, I don't know if that was intentional or not, but it does make me laugh. Then you can see the cockpit in here. Very large, very spacious. I think just about any figure will fit in there. We'll go ahead and put the pilot in. Fits in very nicely. If you want to take the time to put the hands on the little two, I don't know, joysticks. Not joysticks. What do you call that? control stick I don't know that way she won't fall out when you go upside down now it says store mummies in these sections here unfortunately I don't have a mummy but I do have a Power Ranger monster will he fit no he's too thick let's see how about alpha can we store alpha no they all have two giant heads all their heads are too big 
Let me see, can I just use the pilot figure? Let me take the pilot figure out of here. So yeah, you can put her in there. It's just, to me, it's such a weird concept. If you caught a mummy, you would just pick up its body and slide it in here and then jump in your plane and fly around. <laughs> and they don't even, like, really secure. They just kind of slide in there. It's such a weird concept. It's like the motorcycle where you just clipped the mummy on the side and he just hung there. It's so strange. I don't know why they're so concerned with mummy storage, but it's really weird. Uh, and unfortunately, the monkey cannot fit in the cockpit. This is a travesty. Why can this monkey not fly this plane? His tail's too big. His tail gets in the way. Now, they do have these kind of handholds right here and here. So I guess if you had other figures that want to, like, jump on. So, like, you can have the mummy, the mummy, the monkey. He can hang on and he can ride the plane while she's flying it around, which is cool. But I really wish the monkey could fly the plane because that's just awesome. Should be able to do that. There we go. The other thing that's neat is you can see this little spot under here. These three kind of little posts or whatever for lack of a better term. You can take your scarab medallion and you can click that underneath. So you have a little storage for that. So if she finds it, she can grab it, hook it under a plane and take off. And this is the same as any of the other scarab medallions we've gotten with the other sets. Just in a light translucent green. But it looks good. I like it. I think that's really neat that you can store it under there. It's just a simple little touch, but I like that a lot. So all in all, I think this thing is pretty cool. I do like it. It's a, a big biplane, which is cool. Um, I appreciate that it gives you extra missiles, and it also gives you a place to store them. I think the missile launching gimmick works pretty well. Okay, so I guess I just had to warm it up. But now it seems to be working pretty good. So once you get it working, it does work well. I like the trigger to make the actual propeller spin. I think that's cool. I like the pilot figure. I think she looks good and she fits in here pretty well. And you can get her hands on the controls pretty easily, which is important. So all oh, pretty cool. The only things I don't really like about it, I really wish the monkey could fit in the cockpit. That's kind of my, my biggest complaint, but at least he can kind of grab on here and just kind of ride on while she flies and also i think the storing the mummy uh inside here feature is really goofy i mean it doesn't hurt anything it doesn't take away from the toy to have that feature so it's not a problem it's just a really weird goofy gimmick so i don't know but i mean you could put other things in there you know like if you have a batmobile and you want to jam him in there no it doesn't fit in any case that's a weird feature, but it doesn't hurt anything to have it. So if you like it, you can use it. If you don't like it, just ignore it. And I love that you can store the scarab underneath. So all in all, I like this thing. I think it's fun. The play features that it has, I think, work well. The figures that come with it are good. Uh, just really wish the monkey could drive the plane. And I think the mummy feature is weird. But what are you going to do? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, thank you so much for watching.